Okay, you can't really see my face because I have to bend down like this, but you can at least see this door that is also a chalkboard. So I'm going to draw up for you a system of play, and then I'm going to break it down, offense or defense midfield and forwards, and how you do it, and it'll come down in three parts. But the overall scheme is a 4-3-3. Three, three. You could look at this as a 4 one, two, two, one, and all that stuff. But it's basically four defenders, three midfielders, and three forwards. You never have them straight across. This is called a flat back four. We'll go over that. These are your three midfielders. They, it is a triangle that changes shape all the time, and we'll go over that separately. And then the forwards, and they will continue to switch places and move around that will drive defenders crazy, depending, especially if they play a man-to-man -man kind of system. But the thing about this system of play, the intention is this. I developed this. this uh, there's nobody else that does this. Now, I stole from different things. Everybody plays a flat back four now. They don't play the sweeper back. Um, I got you know a certain system that worked in the midfield for me, and I developed this system on the forward side. The intention is just to get behind the defense. That is the entire tension because that's the tough part about soccer is how do you break past those four defenders or that defense? And to do that, you could do it various ways. You could beat them 1v1. Well, do you have the players that can go 1v1 and beat everybody? Few teams do. Secondly is they do two things. They do a through ball or they teach you to play it wide and cross the ball. And that's what they usually teach you. And your chances of playing it wide and crossing the ball and scoring off of that are slim as well. So this system here that I will demonstrate for you is about how to get past a defense. Just to get past and there's various options and you're gonna see what do you need to do um, and I'll give you different options because everybody's gonna be where they're supposed to be so when this guy gets the ball he knows exactly what teammates without even looking up where they're supposed to be or this one or this one or this one. They all have a certain role and if they play that role it, everything flows, they can play one touch and they'll look brilliant and really all they're doing is playing where, where they practiced, okay?